welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're gonna be talking about the Coffee Gator Pour Over Kettle. Yes, this is a monumental day for the At Home with Lucas channel. I have officially acquired a new pour over kettle. If you've watched my channel, you know I've had a really, really bad pour over kettle that I just kept using because I didn't have enough money to buy a new one or I didn't have time, blah, 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 blah. Today, I have one and we are gonna put this thing to the test. I'm so excited. So in this video, we're gonna do a hands-on with the box. Then we're gonna take the pour over kettle, we're gonna throw it onto the stove top, we're gonna boil it up, make some coffee, and see how it all works. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. This is actually quite big. I was not expecting the box. I don't know exactly what's inside of here, but I was not expecting this box to be so big, but I'm happy that it is. Let's take a look around. You got their Coffee Gator logo in the bottom right. True Brew Pour Over Kettle with Steady Flow Technology. That is what's up. That's what we need on this channel, people. Technology. I really like how they do these boxes. It's very, very cool. Got a shimmer to it. Okay, top left. Steady flow team. Now that's interesting. Pour control. Very nice. We gotta have control, people. Let's take a look at the top. Very, very simple. Coffee gator. Take a look at the side right here. Okay, so you got body mounted Fahrenheit and Celsius thermometer. That is what's up. That's pretty much why I bought this thing. Precision gooseneck spout, easy fill hinge lid. That is very cool. I like that. I don't have to pull the lid off and set it aside and smash it back on. All right. Yes, don't want to burn our hands. That's cool too, they give you a jacket. That's gonna be awesome. All right. Cool. Whoa! Look at that box. I'm guessing that this is, yeah. Drink better coffee, people. Drink better coffee. Okay, so this is a 54 fluid ounce, but you can only boil 40 fluid ounces, so that's kind of funny. Um, that's kind of a safety thing, but I think they should sell this as a 40 fluid ounce. Um, not really sure. I guess you could put 54 fluid ounces in there and not boil it. You could just warm it to a certain temperature and then pour it out. That would not be a problem, but anyways, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. I'm so excited. All right, very cool. That is their thermometer right there. Nice. Yes, people, it's gonna be fun. Let's get inside this bad boy. Whoa, this is so cool. I like how they have this. That is so nice. Okay, so they definitely know we're unboxing this on camera. <laughs> that is nice. Good job, Coffee Gator. I am impressed. Oh, it keeps going. This is so cool. Wow. Look at that. They really thought about us unboxing this thing. Look at that. If you guys watch this coffee gator, send me an email. Okay. Let's get this bad boy out. Yikes. Hey, we got another one. We are just swimming in coasters. Very cool. All right, 
And we got another one of these. Nice. I really like how they give you this because it really explains all the ins and outs of the product that you just bought. That is so cool. Good job, Coffee Gator. We don't need that. Just a little bit of backstory on these guys, or this guy. Put that aside. <clears throat> so this is interesting. They always give you the printout, which is basically just multi-language version of what is right here, um, if I'm not mistaken. At least that's how it was on the, the other two products I bought. Okay, so no, this gives you more. So this is actually important. You need to keep this. That'll get you a good understanding of what you're doing. So we'll definitely read all of that before we use it. What is this? What? What am I looking at? That is so cool. What is going on here? Ah, I knew it was going to be the jacket. That is so cool. Good job, Coffee Gator. That is the rubber silicone jacket that they mentioned. Very nice. Putting it in its own little container. Now let's check out this beast. Oh, that is glorious. Just glorious. Okay. There it is. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So steam is going to come out of there. That is so cool. Exclamation point. Um, you got your Fahrenheit and your Celsius. I like that. How they separated the two. That is good touch. Because I do not like the... Um, I don't like the thermometers that do this. Because then it's just a jumbled mess of, of letters. Numbers. It's just a jumbled mess of numbers. Whereas this one is very clean and very precise. Nice. All right, let's take a look around this bad boy. Wow, they have their logo right on the front. That is so cool. <laughs> that is nice. There we go. Okay, so that is, all right. Okay, so I was wondering how they were going to do this. That is very interesting. So the thermometer just simply is basically this just mounted in there. So that's not that's not as high tech as I thought it would be. Um, I did think they would do this, but I also thought maybe it'd be integrated into the actual base of it, or I didn't know. I had no idea how they would do it. But this is this is the. Um, Simplest way we'll call it, um, but still nonetheless, that's good um, Okay, I like how this stays upright See that gravity does not want to pull it down. That's cool. I don't know if it'll stay like that forever But it has a good um, a Good hinge in there. That's really nice cool So I'm liking the look I didn't even notice I was holding the handle perfectly. That is a good handle. I actually really like it. It's it's curved right. You feel like you can hold a good amount of water. My other one, I felt like my wrist was being bent like that just to hold it. But this one, I feel like my wrist is gonna be like that. So that is very, very cool. I like that a lot. Um, that's plastic right there, hard plastic. It's not soft touch, which is okay. I don't mind that at all. This is also, hard plastic and it well it's interesting plastic okay so we got their coffee gator logo over here so if you saw the stovetop espresso video I did they had almost no logos on it and it makes sense because it's probably their least um, exciting product we'll, we'll say least exciting um, I did return that one <laughs> okay so that's the right there so in the instructions, they're going to tell you what that's all about. That's cool. Um, I do like how this seamlessly kind of flows right onto the top. That's really cool. And it looks like they used um, some sort of metal machining work here to fit the two pieces together. 
it feels very solid. I'm gonna give it a little push. Little tiny wobble, but not much. I'm not mad about that at all. Um, it feels very solid. This is a stainless steel or brushed aluminum. I think it said stainless steel. Yeah, down here. Yeah, there we go, stainless steel. So this is very nice. Once the jacket goes on, you're gonna be able to take this off and clean it, which is huge because this thing will live on my stove uh, for the foreseeable future and it will never move. I don't put these things away. So all the, the splashes from grease from cooking will hit this and then I'll be able to wash it off. So that's really, really cool. Um, it's as if they made this for me because I am gonna show you guys my other one. It is pitiful and disgusting looking. <laughs> but it looks like the stainless steel possibly goes up into the gooseneck spout. I could be wrong. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom. See, they're very proud of this one. They, they definitely say hey, this is 100% uh, coffee gator right here. Um, very, very nice. Very, the attention to detail is what you're looking for when you're dealing with a, a product that you're gonna possibly use multiple times per day. So, very cool. Um, it gives a little bit more information on this. So I'm, is that 304 stainless steel? Hot dog. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm saying that as if I know what stainless steel numbers are. No idea. Let's just call 304 stainless steel premium. Okay. Patent pending. Patents. Plural. All right. This is so cool. I am so excited about this. If you guys have been following my channel, you absolutely know how much I've needed one of these and have been wanting one, but never never really had the, the dollars to spend on it. Um, this is their 2019 model. This thing is upgraded from their sort of like stubby wide, um, more like a tea kettle, and they upgraded it to this really nice cylinder looking thing. Um, and that's kind of why I bought it. The other ones kind of looked more like standard tea kettles and I didn't I didn't like that at all I am gonna go ahead and put this on real quick and we'll take a look at it with it on all right we have it mounted it was actually pretty easy one thing you want to make sure you, you do is you don't want it too high up or too far down um, just because of the way that it's designed to fit on here it fits one way that is very nice it kind of feels like a football or something like you might do a spiral and throw it um, that's very cool I like that a lot it went on pretty easily um, I didn't even like really think about what I was doing I just slid these things over um, like that and they just kind of fit in there so it's pretty simple to put on you're not gonna struggle at all I don't know if these are supposed to line up with this back here I'll look at the picture and maybe adjust it later but and that is so cool. I like that a lot. It's very handsome. It um, definitely will catch most of the splatters and I'll be able to take it off and rinse it and possibly buy a new one in a few years if this one gets disgusting. So that is very cool. Hopefully they um, have them for sale, um, assuming that they are going to need to be purchased. So that's very cool. All right, coming up, we are going to boil this up and see how well it works. Right, out with the old, in with the new. This is the old bad boy that you guys have seen in many, many, many videos that I've made. This is something that I purchased on a whim. I just needed a pour over kettle. Um, <clears throat> it was actually for an RV trip. So it wasn't researched and it wasn't hunted down. It just was bought. Um, I said earlier that when you hold this thing and you go to pour it, it actually starts to hurt your wrist. So it's not designed correctly, but we don't have to worry about that anymore because we have the new beast. Yes, this thing looks amazing and I cannot wait to put it to the test. Okay, so one thing I didn't realize is there is a max line right there. It's actually just past, I would say, the halfway point. Um, and so that is 40 fluid ounces. I actually kind of like that it tells you the max uh, fill and it tells you what that is in ounces because then I know if I go halfway to the max line 
I can get 20 fluid ounces. In, in a quarter, you get 10. I wish there was, <clears throat> I wish there were lines in it telling you how many ounces you have put in. That would be amazing. But that's probably just me being extra. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and fire this beast up. So I am doing a pour over uh, in, in this video. So that's why you're gonna see me get it up to around 180 to 200. That's ideal for pour over. Um, but in the process, I actually found out a few things that I did not like. So one of the things that happened right away was it was very apparent that it was hard to see that thermometer from a distance. And I'm not going to say my eyes are the best and I'm not going to say my eyes are the worst, but you couldn't really make it out at a glance from a distance. So I don't know how they would change that, whether they would turn the, the, the face of it so it faces, you know, one direction. Um, I don't know. Um, obviously, they want you to just get up near it and look at it and then you'll know. So that was the first thing that I didn't like. Um, it would be amazing if there was a digital readout. That would be that would probably just solve everything. Um, but that would re require a battery that would last X amount of months or years and you'd have to replace it. So probably not going to happen just yet, but wishful thinking. Uh, Okay, and then the other thing that was a problem was the steam would actually come out and it would cover the thermometer readout. So you couldn't see, um, even when you're getting close, the um, where your temperature was. And, you know, it wasn't like it covered it and, and it was just permanent for good, but it was enough to where you were like, okay, this is not designed exactly well like it, it could have been a little bit different and i'm no designer i'm not gonna say i am but as you can see right there the steam holes are right in front of the thermometer readout so you end up losing the ability and you could see it even worse there the ability to see what the temperature is so it's a little bit um you know it's it's gonna work fine i'm i'm probably just picking nits or something but Anyways, um, the other thing that I worried about was it smelled like metal, but there is zero taste that comes into your coffee, so that is awesome. I would give this two thumbs up. Okay, so final thoughts on the Coffee Gator 4 over kettle. So at, at first, I thought that this was going to be amazing. I thought... This is so simple in its layout and it just very easy. But if you're standing at a distance, you are not going to be able to see that at all. The only thing you can see is this bright color here. And so my, my thing is they should either have all these color coordinated or they should um, tilt this forward, like I said earlier. So that's my sort of gripe, my pet peeve. I have a four burner set up here and I keep it on the, the back left. So that's kind of just a comfort spot for it. It's the smallest burner and it does, it, it, it heats up perfectly. So I'm not going to move it from here because of that. Um, also I said the steam will come up, wrap around here and basically blind you from being able to see what the temperature is and you have to come and wipe it off. So these are nitpicks. This is not a deal breaker. Um, this is not going to cause you to not buy this thing. Um, but I would hope that maybe in the future they might move these steam ports up a little bit so they don't come up. Um, maybe they could figure out a way to do a um, some cool new technology where it, it has a digital readout and it uses the heat to power the digital readout. I don't know. Um, I do know that there's movement watches where when you move them they charge back up maybe they could figure out something with steam i don't know but um i do like this right here it's got a nice little grip on it um this this flip door thing is amazing the hinge is still um, as cool as the first moment i saw it uh, very happy with that definitely love how it has the max line in there um, i'm not sure if you can pick this up from the grip um, and not burn your hand, but that was definitely a thought. 
is when it's, you know, maybe been sitting for a little bit, you might be able to grab it from here, which I actually found myself doing because it's so grippy. <laughs> so you can either grab it from here when it's a little bit cool or obviously grab it from the handle. Um, I would say the handle is, is, a, is a four out of five stars. It's not a five star handle. It could use a little bit of like soft touch here or something just to give you that extra little premium bump. Um, but nonetheless, it's still very, very nice. Um, I have not figured out what the thread is here yet. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with the fact that this splits apart there and then you could take that out. So I'm guessing you just unscrew here. This breaks apart. Um, so this whole setup was designed for that to be put in there and probably taken back out if it dies or maybe they'll upgrade it. That would be actually really cool. I'm thinking on my feet, people. <laughs> That would be very cool if they upgraded this um, and let you just pull it out and put a new one in. Or, I'm thinking on my feet again, maybe you could put a different one in there if you so choose. That, that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, I definitely felt like this thing boiled up the water twice as fast as my other one. It is very quiet. <laughs> it's actually so quiet that you don't notice it's at 200. Um, it's very quick. Um, this thing is very easy to take on and off. You just pop it off of there. Very, very simple. Um, all in all, I would say this is definitely a 4.5 stars out of five. It's not a five star yet, but it can very easily get there. You hearing me, Coffee Gator? You can get there. It could be a five star. You just have to tool it a little bit more and just work on it, and this thing will be the, the best pour over kettle ever. Um, I wish more people knew about this thing because it is very, very nice. Um, when Coffee Gator does good, they do great. <laughs> and then when they do bad, eh, you, you question what they're, what they're thinking. But I actually feel sorry for the people who have Celsius uh, because they have to, I don't even know how, they, would have, they literally would have to pick it up and then get a close look and then put it back down. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. This thing holds heat also. I should mention that. It actually holds heat for quite some time. So what I found myself doing, I would put it at around um, the middle of 200 and then I would let it sit for a minute to cool off and then I would basically do the pour over and in the time it took to do the pour over, it would drop to like just above 180. So 185, still perfect for pour over. Um, and so that's really awesome. So it boils fast, it keeps the heat long, it has a thermometer built in, it has a great handle, it has a great grip, it has a great look. My beautiful wife said it looks really, really clean, really nice, so that's a, that's a thumbs up from her, which means we're winning. So all in all, I would say 4.5 out of five stars. There you go, that's the pour over kettle by Coffee Gator. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and clack that like button. And if you wanna join the at-home family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys, I'm almost 1K. Yes, I passed the 700 mark and I'm going for 1K. I'm so excited and it's because of you guys. Every time you guys hit that subscribe button, I get closer, you get closer, because I'm making content that you enjoy to watch. And I'm definitely here for the long haul. So you're gonna see this channel last years and years and years into the future. I'm so excited about YouTube. I'm so excited about you right now watching. Yes, pat yourself on the back, because you watched this video. I'm so thankful for you. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye